Hello, I'm Eli for edu for java and this is the tutorial number 7 of Java Game Programming. We're going to talk about adding sound to our game. A game with no sound is not complete. In this tutorial we will add background music, the noise of the bouncing of the ball, and the game over with funny voice at the end of the game. To avoid copyright problems, we're going to create the sounds ourselves. For this, we're going to need an audio editor. I wrote in Google through the audio editor and I found this one that is very powerful and easy to use. Download, save, and it's downloading. As we can see, I've got it already because I downloaded, downloaded it before, so I'm going to Click on it, yes, and we wait until it opens. To install it, next, next. Here I'm going to use the custom installation and I don't want the toolbar. Not this either. Launch. Close. And here we're going to do a new file. We have to choose how is our sound going to be. Due to problems with the memory, it is better to choose mono here. It will be half the size of stereo. For sound quality, we're going to choose the lowest, 6000. Okay. Let's start to record. New record. You can see that here it is registering my voice and we're going to start uh, recording the background music. Okay, we keep it. You can see how it sounds. Save, save file as. Going to put it with music. We'll call it back. Save. In specified settings, uh, we'll be putting 8000 and 16 bits. Uh, I've tried with 8 and it's too little, so 16 is okay. Okay. Okay, now we're going to record the ball. New file. Okay. New record. Record. Keep. Play. As there's a lot here in front and at the back, we're going to delete it so that the file is smaller. Delete. And delete. Okay, save file as. We're going to name it ball. Here we can put 8. It's okay. And lastly, we are going to save the game over sound. New record. Game over, buddy. Here the same, we're going to drag with the mouse and delete. Click, drag, 
and delete. That's it. Save file as. Game over. Here the same is okay with eight. Okay. Here we can see the three files. With this, we finish the creation of the files. You can see. We can see here that this is the biggest because it's the longest with 197k and these are smaller. Let's continue with the tutorial. We're going to see play sounds using a audio clip. Audio clip is an object which allows us to play sounds. It's the easiest way in Java to play sounds. We're going to copy this code to the editor as always. Here we are, we're going to do the first example. So we are uncomment this, uncomment the second one. Save. Let's have a look at the code. We're going to first copy our files to use them. We've got it here. Copy and paste. There we are. Let's comment the code now. This is where easiest way to get an audio clip is to call the method new audio clip of a class applet. That if we pass an object URL, it returns an audio clip. Clip is as if was loaded in memory. We can then do clip play and it executes. This instruction here loads the file which is in this URL inside applet.newAdioClip. In this instruction here I'm creating a new URL which points at my website. In my web website I have left the back.wop so that you can download it. Let's run the program. One, two, Three, a sound and three, four. What happened here? One and two is instantaneous. When we wanted to create clip, Apple went to get the audio clip to URL, which is in the internet. This is why it takes a bit longer than if it was in the computer. That's the time we waited for the sound. Then came three, four, and it stopped. Then we waited a second and end. If I comment that sleep here and run it, we can see that we don't hear anything. The instruction play here opens another thread where the sound executes. We sleep the main thread so that we can hear the sound. If instead of 1,000 we write 5 seconds, which will be 5,000, we can see we're going to listen to a lot more music. We listen for the music for 5 seconds. Instead of going to internet to fetch it, we're going to use this instruction. We, um, to have it in our local file. I'm going to comment this one and uncomment this one. Ctrl S. This will make it quicker. Run it. You can see there has no been no delay between two and three. And the music is still short because we wrote 5 seconds. There's a third way of obtaining the file. In this case here, 
it doesn't depend on where we have placed it. That it can be uh, different every time. We can get the URL in this way without depending on where is the application installed. For each Java class, for example, for example, sound test, Java has an associated class, an object of the type class. This object of the type class can be obtained doing soundtest.class. This object has a method getResource. Uncomment this first. And then I can control click on top of the method. I do control click on top of the method and we can see the class where the method is implemented. We can't see the source source code, but we can see that the class is class.class. .class. The class that has this method is class. With soundtest.class we can obtain this class and with the method getResource we can obtain files from the class path. What is the class path? Class, class path is from where Java gets the class to execute. For example, soundtest.java, this one here. It has another characteristic. Back is relative to the place where this class is. Soundtest. As we can see, back.wow is in the same place as soundtest. It doesn't matter where is Eclipse installed, we always get it, even if it's inside a .jar, which we will we'll see later on. There is no problem, it gets it also. In this way, we get the URL. Let's put it here, comment this one, it, and let's run it. <laughs> You can see this URL is automatic, it is getting it from our own disk, there's no delay. With click we can also execute the method loop. Let's write here 30 second loop as the word indicates does several turns. The sound which is inside clip will execute once and when it stops another time and so on until someone calls stop. Here yeah, I wrote 30 so that we can listen to it. I think 30 is longer than the music. Run. There it stops and there it begins again. It will go on repeating and it, until it gets to this instruction. Click stop. Here we get to the end. Okay, uh, this is all for this tutorial. I invite you to have a look at the page where I uh, write some more and uh, basically the important thing is what I've said in the tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!